and demons because they have access to our emotions and our imagination that can actually influence people's um, reactions to the grace. So even if God gives them a grace, they can inspire fear like, oh, well, you know, if you if you become Catholic, well, then, you know, you, you're going to lose your friends or you're, you're not going to be able to get this or that or what have you. So they can use our emotions against us and also our perceptions. And so I tell people saying a binding prayer or just saying prayers to keep demons out of these people's lives to block them. So in the binding prayer, I just tell people bind any demon that is keeping them from converting and do it on a regular basis. I have a relative whose husband was a very, he was a man of natural virtue. Everybody in the family really liked this guy, but he was a Protestant. And he just, it, he, it, it seemed like he was stubborn. But in the end, so I, at, at one point, I just said to my sister, here, say this binding prayer against any demon that's keeping him from coming into the church. She started saying it within 10 months he was in the church, even oh, though she'd been wow. praying for 20 years. 